Now, let's talk about a subject that's going to make people uncomfortable. What's up, man? How to handle family members asking for money. Um, yeah, so it just depends. You know, I, I'm kind of one of those guys where I need to know the reason, um, especially if it reaches like $500 or more. Ooh. You know, I want to know what got you in this position or are you in trouble or what's going on? Is there anything that I can help? you know, on a legal side besides financially. Um, but, you know, if it's a family member that I definitely I'm close to, I love, I'm going to lend the money. But it is a it is an uncomfortable topic. And I don't see a problem with sharing with your family. That's what they're there for. And, um, and yeah, and I think most people wouldn't see an issue with sharing with family. But how can we responsibly do that? How can we honor mm-hmm. ourselves and honor our family members and loan them the money um i think you could treat it as a gift for one you know definitely loan as much as you can that you know it doesn't impact you negatively um you know if it's just know your threshold your your gift threshold because if you don't see it back then you have to take that as a loss so you might as well gift it okay um i have an interesting um outlook on it um you know in my culture um it is almost a thing that grown people want to be taken care of by other grown people. Okay. Um, which isn't cool in my opinion. Um, but of course me being, you know, raised here, I look at that differently, but I do understand, um, there are situations where people need help. So I came up with my own system. I have a figure in my head that I know that I'm willing to give out. Okay. To family per year. I will never say what that is. My family doesn't know how much that is. And I have that figure in my head and I run a running total every year. And I'm like, okay, this is what I'm willing to give out. And, you know, there's people competing for that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes even when I still have money left in the fund, depending on what the ask is for, I may say no. Sometimes I say yes, but I know what that figure is. and I know I can give that out. Um, what I asked for it back. Cause yeah, I don't do loans. No. I don't loan any money to family. I think that's wrong in my opinion. So I don't loan. So if you need the money so big that you feel like you got to pay me back, don't ask me cause I'm not going to give it to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just, yeah, I, I'm just being that. honest now, you know, um, when I have children that might change, if I have adult children, they need to borrow money, but then you know, it'd be funny if my kids actually watch this video 20 years into the future or something. But um, I would lend them the money and not expect it back even then. So, yes, I would lend my kids money if they want to pay me back. Sure. All right. But, it, you know, I won't let them know that they don't have to pay me back. Right. But you want that fear in them, right? Yeah. Like, hey, you know, you're definitely going to have to pay that money back. I mean, I, I hope that I can just give my kids everything that they want, you know, with within reason. Like, yes. I want them to be able to work for it go to college hopefully um become successful there's no hopefully we're gonna influence that well yeah they're gonna have college funds they're gonna have yes you know was it 529s they're gonna have all of that right but they could choose not to finish college you know they become 18 they don't have have a choice they don't have a choice (laughs) i hear you but who who says they have a choice did you have a choice no but i didn't have a choice none of my siblings had a choice what if they don't have the capacity what if they don't work on that (laughs) <laughs> you gonna get something look I don't disagree with you and I, I can appreciate that but you have to deal with your kids with uh, a grain of salt so you just you just never really know let me let me just <clears throat> I don't mean to put you all the way out there like yeah. this but I have to what's up so your mass is level educated sure you know your wife is uh, doctoral level educated yeah the chances of your children going to not going to college is almost zero. Yes, I understand. It's almost zero. But you cannot force them because I've said that in front of somebody and then they gave me the perspective of like, oh, well, you don't know what your kids are going to be able to do. You don't know um, what they might come out with. Hopefully they're healthy. Well, you just, you just, uh, okay, obviously you, I'm just saying, if they're not healthy, yes. I can't speak on But then that's a lifelong right. parent and that's a whole nother, you're looking at how are you going to raise them even as adults and then... I've said that. I said, look, there's... No way in in heck that my kids aren't going to college. I said that. And somebody, they... If they're healthy. I don't care if they... And I don't mean learning disability. If they're healthy. If they have a learning disability, they can still make it through college. Sure. But if they're healthy, 
yes, they they will go to college. If they're not healthy, then of course it's, that's a whole you know they have Down syndrome things like that. Of course, I'm not gonna that's that would be fair. I might have a kid that wants to do a gap year. Or... I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I'm just saying, you just never know when they reach that 18 years well, of age does... and they're on their own and they're self sufficient. They can do Are they that. self? Who name an eighteen year old that know they're self sufficient? And this society is becoming more and more expensive. Hey, my siblings, they live in Atlanta right now, and they're surviving by themselves. Um, look, my, all I'm trying. If to I say, feel like you're gonna look, be a risk, and you going to school here. <laughs> if I feel like you, <laughs> when, you get, when you get a certain age, you just can't force people to do certain things. So I'm saying, I've experienced that. Okay, you know I've what? This could be a whole other discussion. Right, right. I, I, I'm not gonna go there. Right. But I have an answer to all of that. We're, we're going to talk about this off camera. Maybe we'll make a segment for uh, it yeah, in the weeks to come. But I, I see what you're saying. And I'm saying... That's it. I understand. And I'm saying my parents foresaw yeah. p- potential for that. Mm-hmm. Even for me. And that influenced how I went to college. And maybe that intervention worked. I always said I was self-motivated. So I was going to finish regardless. Obviously, I, you know, I've attained a high level of education. Uh, but... They first they felt like they first saw certain things, so they're like, nah, no out of state, no out. Of, mm-mm. We want you where you see, right? So, but you just uh, gotta have an open mind. That's all I'm saying. That's it. No. <laughs> okay. I look. This is the extent of my open mindedness. I'll, I'll give this little last tidbit. I know we're gonna right. say this for another episode, right. but I guess a little tidbit. You know what my dad told me? He said, "Son, you can do whatever you want after you graduate." Yeah, and he's held true to that. Okay. You know, I, I've brought some crazy scenarios to my dad. He's like, look, you know, you've worked hard. You've built yourself up. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it's not that big of a risk. You you know, you put certain things um, in place to where if things don't work out, you can at least be decent. I right. support it. So if I wanted to have a musical career, which I know he would not have supported when I was in college, I could do it right now. He will support me because he knows I've worked myself to a certain point. Now, obviously, it's shown itself as a podcast and you know, an on-screen personality, but that's something that I can do while working. Right. Um, I don't disagree with that. It's just, you can't, you, you don't know what your people, what your children are going to do. They're their own individuals. So, you know, I'm pretty sure in your circle, your extended circle, yeah. there's some people that have had the same upbringing as you. And they not went, quite they the took, same. Not but similar. Quite, similar, similar, but not quite the and same. And they took a different route, they right? Did. You would say so. Okay, yeah. so I mean, you just never know. You just never know. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna talk about this more <laughs> off camera, and then after we flush it out, we'll bring it back to you guys. We will. But um, dang man, but did we give them some real nuggets about loaning money? Because all I basically said is, hey, don't give away what you can't afford to lose. Have a figure, budget it. Right. Have a figure in your head you're willing to give out. But let's let's take it deeper. Let's take it further. What's up? Let's let's, let's go a little deeper in, into this. What about the individuals, right? You know, um, maybe they came up in a single parent household. Mm -hmm. You know, moms are struggling. Maybe they had government assistance at home. Yeah. And they put the parents put a lot of effort into their child to go into college and to be something. And they do do this, you know, whether they become a lawyer, engineer, doctor, and they're making good money. And now that parent that was a single parent is putting pressure on that child to now take care of them. Whether it's moving them into their house, whether it's paying for their because you know that parent never owned a home, so it's not about paying their rent, you know, buying them lavish gifts, buying them foreign cars. Yeah, like I saw a Jamel Hill buy her mom a Mercedes, DJ Academics buy his mom a Mercedes, but these people are millionaires, so that's yeah, so that's, that's a whole cool. other. Right, yeah, right, 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 that's right. fine. But what are your thoughts on that? Um, hey man, you gotta take care of moms, right? You know, I'm not saying that single parent household has to be with the mother but most times it is and I mean she took care of you and she worked her bone to the gristle and I mean I think that I for sure think uh, once you reach a certain point of success you gotta give back to your family your parents uh, especially if they went out on a limb for you I think so and you gotta do it for your children too I'm, I'm willing to admit that I'm not qualified I believe to speak on this matter fully um, but I can say this, mm. you know, you know, with me having both of my parents at home, you know, I've had my father tell me at times, like, you know, don't get so caught up mm. in what's going on over here. You know, you need to look forward. 
and and stabilize your life and build your future. I feel like so I don't think my father would want me to work backwards in that way because that's the difference between passing up and passing down. And I think right because my parents are in a situation where they're passing up. Their parents didn't leave them anything. Well, they left them some land, which um, the value is questionable at the moment. But, Mm -hmm. you know, they didn't leave them anything. So they're passing up. They're they're taking care of their kids, their parents' kids or extended family. And, you know, my dad doesn't want that for me. So he advocates that I don't do that, that I just look forward and I focus on my family and I set up my family in a way where my kids would be very responsible and I have something to leave them and they built their own thing Mm -hmm. and then they take what I give them plus what they have and then pass it to their next children who build up their own thing take what they have from the previous three generations and keep building and building yeah and you can't do that if you are taking care of a parent yeah I don't disagree with that but if your parents were down bad you wouldn't move them in your house what if they were ill or something you know, they had dementia or some type Here's of... Here's the caveat. Both of my parents had... See, that's why See, I'm not... Qual- I'm not qualified. That's all I'm, I'm saying. Not qualified. It just I'm not qualified. I'll say that you I'm not qualified. But it doesn't mean that I'm wrong. No, you're not wrong. I'm right, but I'm not qualified to fully speak on it. I can admit that. But yeah. both of my parents have retirement. You know, right. like, uh, state and federal employees. Plus, they have 401k. Right. Plus, they own their home. So, there's just... They're set up differently. Right. You know, of course. And I guess just the point is that, you know, you want to be set up as well. And I'm saying is you can help whoever you want, but don't help somebody to the point. Like, come on. Like, if you don't own a house, you can't be paying somebody else's rent. That's stupid. If right. you don't own your own house, yeah. if you don't own a house with your name on the deed, you cannot buy somebody else a car. Right. But you can move that individual in with you. I would say that. I mean, I'm well, not trying to have levels, cousins right? or brothers or anything like that. But if my parents needed a place to stay and it was a, a bad time, for I, them, then yeah, I would say, come on. So move them in. And, or would they be contributing members in the household? Because that's fine if they are. I mean, sure. I mean. But if they're not, why would they move in? They're not contributing their members. What about now you have to think about buying a bigger home? Because this would actually apply to you, right? Your, your home probably wouldn't be able to accommodate you, whatever future kids you want to have and your parents, right? Not at the moment. No, so you'll have to be thinking, okay, now I got to buy a bigger home for my parents I have and some my time. kids. I have some time. No, listen. My parents are young. <laughs> but that's the I point. have some time. But that's the point, yeah. David, is that now you're making decisions. You know what? <laughs> look, 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 all I'm saying is I have some time. But No, for, for sure. The, but what if viewers, it happened today? What if it happened today? For the viewers, I mean, people have to make accommodations. There are other family members besides me. We're talking about giving back to your family. Yeah. And I think that giving back to your family is important because I've had situations where I've needed from my For family sure. members. For sure. Uh, I've had a cousin come live with me. We were roommates and he va- virtually paid nothing. So yeah. I don't have a problem giving back to the fam. That's all I'm saying. I'm with it. I, I'm down with it. I'm all for it. As long as it doesn't take away from your progress mm-hmm. and you have it. Go go ahead. That's why I say right. have a budget of what you can do. Sure. But things start getting weird if, again, let's say your parents have to move in with you. And you're not mm-hmm. like, man, I got to sell my house and buy a new bigger house. Because they're straining you. I hear what you're saying. But, I mean, you got to make do, man. They're not going to be on the streets. I, I don't, right. don't put them in the streets. But uh-huh. you got to come up with a plan. Hey, or somebody else could come up with the plan. You got <laughs> siblings, you got other people, you got brothers and uncles, and you know what I'm saying? Nah, you're right, you're right, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just saying, don't be don't be afraid to think of yourself first. Is all I'm saying. Because then you got the rest of your life to live, and if you don't reach your goals, everybody's gonna look at you like you're crazy, right? If and you, for the record, nobody is experiencing any of this right now, but <laughs> hypothetical conversations. So, but, but there's some people out there yeah. that are watching this that are probably like, man, I got to take care of moms as soon as I get right. And I got like, right. I'm talking about me and you. We're not yeah. experiencing that right now. No, no, not but at all. Not at all. Out there. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you can afford it and like you said, it's not holding you back. I don't see a problem with it. Okay. Then the last uh, piece on this, What's on that? these things, on this one, should you feel ashamed if you're not able to help? No. Not at all. I mean, you can only give what you have. You can only 
first of all, like you said, you kind of have to think about yourself. So if you can't make ends meet by yourself or with your spouse, then how can you give to somebody else? Well, Only when you have a, a excess of funds or... Yeah, I mean, no. Nah, I don't think you should feel bad about that. Well, I mean, I own... I, I owe a, a big student loan debt, so I, I don't have money. You can look at it that way. Um, <laughs> what do you look at it? It's you the truth. Look at it that I, way. <laughs> I mean, I don't know your personal finance situation. I'm telling you, I, 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 I owe a lot in student loans. <laughs> you're young equity Chris, though. Yeah. I, I, I live an unfortunate life when it comes to that one. <laughs> Everything okay. else is great, but yeah, you know, so I don't have money. Then you pay the minimum. You pay the minimum. You get your family members in. <laughs> they stay at the bottom. They do. <laughs> <laughs> You that's can. what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. You can do that. But no, nah, man. I, but okay, let's take me out of it. But yeah. let's say anybody, like you, you what's can up? go open up a credit card with a fifteen thousand dollar limit, borrow ten thousand cash from that credit card, and then give it to your family. I would not do that. But you can. Sure. Down the jam. I'm not trying to <laughs> do I'm it. I'm not trying to put myself in more debt. Now, if I had the ca- uh, that's the key. Do you put yourself in more debt to take care of family? No. You just improvise with, with what you have currently. So if you have an extra bedroom or if you have an extra car, something that's already paid off, then you give them that. That's something that I would do. I wouldn't put myself in more debt to accommodate somebody else. Okay. Okay. All I right. agree on that. All right. All right. Cool, 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 but, cool. All right. That was a heavy one, but uh, yeah. <laughs> much needed. <laughs>